Hello everybody. So the much discussed debate between Sabor Ahmed and Dave Farina that was meant to happen in person finally took place online on the 5th of April 2025. Here is the email from Sabor to Dave Farina. Noticed how the debate title is Is Darwinian Evolution a Fact? I'm sure everyone knows the topic. Is Darwinian Evolution a Fact? Okay, so the question before us today is, tonight is, is Darwinian evolution a fact? So the first thing I need to do is define what I mean by Darwinian evolution. Now, I am defining Darwinian evolution as the modern synthesis or neo-Darwinism. And the reason for this is because it's the foundation currently of evolutionary theory. He then discusses Dennis Noble ad nauseum and why he is a challenge to the neo-Darwinian paradigm. I'll spare you having to listen to it all, but I will say that Sabor mentions Noble 45 times in his 20-minute opening statement and 11 times in his 10-minute rebuttal. He does mention a mistake that Dave Farina did say in his reaction video where Dave got some dates wrong, but since he had been drinking scotch during this reaction video, we can forgive him for that. Let's see that bit. Neo-Darwinism is a term that was coined in the 1920s. He actually, I will give him credit for saying the term modern synthesis. I heard him say that. So, but the thing is that he doesn't, like, he's just throwing out terms that he's heard, right? Modern synthesis, neo-Darwinism, like, he just kind of uses them interchangeably, not knowing that they're, like, 70 years apart. Now let's go to his most absurd claim, which is that Dennis Noble is a complete clown. Well, evolutionary biologists such as Jerry Coyne and P.Z. Myers have described Noble as a blundering tyro when it comes to evolutionary biology and as a disgraceful dingleberry and nuts. John Perry of the Stated Casually channel accuses Dennis Noble of spreading misinformation about evolution using funding from the Templeton Foundation. The evolutionary biologist Zach Hancock says Noble has made exactly zero progress swaying evolutionary biologists and most evolutionary biologists do not know who he is. Please watch those videos together with my own video on the subject. We then have Dave Farina's 20 minute opening where he describes why Darwinian evolution is a fact. They then start the 10 minute rebuttals. At this point, Sabor admits he doesn't actually dispute that Darwinian evolution is a fact. He admits to it, which is the whole title of this debate. You said Darwinian evolution is a fact, and you defined it as what? You defined it as random mutations and natural selection. Well, guess what? That Darwinian evolution is accepted by me. That Darwinian evolution is accepted by Dennis Noble. That Darwinian e evolution is accepted by everyone, and it's trivial. There is natural selection and random mutations, something nobody denies. You have to wonder what is the point of the debate if he's just going to concede that Darwinian evolution is a fact. The clue is in how he defines Darwinian evolution, as you see here. When I referred to Darwinian evolution, I referred to the idea that random mutations plus natural selection can generate mind and body. That's the definition of Darwinism that I'm using. That's the definition of neo-Darwinism I'm using. So he has his own definition of Darwinian evolution, which is not shared by anybody else on the planet. And that's what he wants to discuss. Whether it is enough to generate mind and body, as he says. Dave's slide here about Sabor whining about definitions and deliberately distorting them seems highly accurate now. It appears Sabor's debate tactic was to agree a title with Dave Farida, let Dave prepare for a debate based on the agreed title, then Sabor was going to use the debate to talk about things which were unrelated to the debate title and for which Dave had not prepared. In this sneaky way, Sabor hoped to appear to have won a debate. An analogy is arranging debate on the topic of is this car green, then accepting Yes, it is green, but I'm here to debate if this car can drive across the country without stopping for fuel. Most of your presentation had nothing to do with what I said. 
That's because Dave's 20-minute opening statement was based not on your 20-minute opening statement, but upon the agreed debate title. You didn't argue against why Darwinian evolution is a fact. You only argued for Dennis Noble. Sabor then puts up a slide with a stupid racial slur against Hindus and Indians, which isn't appropriate anywhere, or relevant here as Dave is Italian-American. Okay, we now have 10 minutes of response from Dave. Did you have any slides to present with this, Dave? No, I'm just going to nope. address this bullshit he's spewing. Okay, so I find this really hilarious. You're whining about my presentation having nothing to do with what you said. That's because you didn't talk about the topic. You're so fucking stupid that you don't even know how to do a debate based on the topic that you chose. You said Darwinian evolution. Everything you're saying is wrong. You don't understand the definitions of these words. But this was the debate title that you chose. So, And it's also why you went first, because that way you could talk about whatever you wanted and pretend that I'm off topic. I'm the one talking about the topic that you chose. Darwinian evolution is descent with modification and natural selection. That factually happens. They then move into open discussion. When asked, Sabor does not actually define what he means by body and mind only that Darwinian evolution cannot fully account for the creation of it. Most of the open discussion wasn't about the debate title, but of Sabor talking about Dennis Noble and other third-way proponents. Please look at the videos I showed earlier for more information on this. James Fodor then did a debate debrief immediately afterwards which noted the semantic disputes and Sabor's rhetorical strategies, such as name-dropping Dennis Noble, a lot. It was noted that it would have been better if the participants had familiarised themselves better with their opponent's arguments, although a large part of that was Sabor not being clear beforehand what the debate would be about. It's good to see that when I checked the top rated comments in the debate debrief that people had seen through Sabor's tactics, his misdefinitions and his bluster. Sabor then did a live stream with Keza Raja to discuss the debate where he just repeated what he said in the debate without of course any counterfactual analysis from Keza Raja. There was broader discussion with Sabor emphasising how Darwinism and atheistic materialism are used as tools to undermine religious belief and of the importance of tackling neo-Darwinism to defend theistic belief systems and the dangers of secularism. I have linked the video in the description if you wish to torture yourself listening to it. In summary, it was good to finally have some sort of discussion. Most people would declare a winner based on their background and ideological leaning. I will go back to working on my next video focusing on other third way proponents. Thank you for watching and please let me know what you think in the comments section.